Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, of course, we're back from New York Toy Fair, and although there wasn't an announcement of a new Skylanders game, there were these rather nice limited edition um, Skylanders figures um, from the show. And as you can see there, um, we managed to not only grab um, one uh, of these Doom Bugs, but a whole, a whole bunch. Um, but they're not for us, they're not to keep here in the studio, they're to give away and we want to give them um, to the real fans of Family Gamer TV and the real fans of Skylanders. So to do that we've got a special challenge for you today. At the show um, there are a whole array, a whole history of Skylanders figures and characters um, in loads of boxes along the side of the booth and as you'll see in a minute I got Lou Studdard to talk us through um, a whole bunch of those. To win the first of our Doom Bugs here, and we'll be giving away the rest in subsequent videos, we want you to comment here below with each and every Skylander you can spot in those boxes from that Toy Fair booth. Not only the name of the Skylander, but also the variant, whether it was Treasure Hunt um, and which edition of the game it came with. Don't just limit yourself to our video, we've got, we've got some good footage coming up. Have a look at anything on YouTube of anyone who covered that event um, to get your definitive list. At the end of the month, we'll be looking through the comments. We've got the list of the actual figures that were in there. Um, and we're gonna compare entrance to the actual official list and those who get closest um, will be the winner of our first Doom Bug. And as I say, through the month, we'll be giving away um, the rest of these Doom Bug figures as well. So stay tuned. As you can see, we're at the Skylanders booth here at Toy Fair and I'm with Lou Studdard, is that yes, right? Yes, you did, sir. And we've got a whole array up and down here of Skylander figures. Now I must admit, yeah. I am slightly rusty on who's who. It's just so, it's so many of them. There though. are, there are. It's kind of nice for us to have this giant display here because it, it's a little look into Skylanders history. You know, we've got characters from all three games. You know, some of them are treasure hunts, which is really cool. A lot of times people don't even see them out of their own packaging. Yeah. So to have them here on display is really cool for us. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to talk us through them, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Should, should we go and do that now? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're actually starting here with Jade Flashwing, which is one of the special alt deco variants of Flashwing. She's one of my favorites because she's got gold and green, you know, giving her a really, really distinct look that also shows up in the game that way. And then this is a special treasure hunt version of Fright Rider. You can see where he's got his ostrich is kind of a, a darker black, and then he himself is actually gold. Really, really cool character. Uh, very limited. One of my favorite treasure hunts, actually. And here we have Spyro, and you can see because of his orange base, he's from Skylanders Giants. So I believe this was the Series 2 version of Spyro. Really cool, has those bigger wings, brand new pose. Really, really awesome version of Spyro. And here's Series 2 Lightning Rod. You can see he's got the, the furious winds blowing his hair up, along with his double lightning bolt action. All right, here we have a special treasure hunt variant of Eyebrawl, and you can see he's got this kind of shiny, pearlescent purple armor. Very, very cool character. And this is an exclusive treasure hunt green version of uh, dual blade chop chop, or twin blade chop chop. Very cool character, you know, using his two blades, but with that green, you know, uh, uh, plastic, it just makes him very, very unique. We've got the Series 2 version of Chill here, I believe it's Blizzard Chill, where she has a really unique weapon there. Her javelin is, is amped up, as is her shield. And this is Countdown, one of the characters new to Swap Force. He's one of my favorites, and he was one of the first characters that we ever showed off at the reveal event. And always a favorite, Lava Barf Eruptor. One of the few toys you can get that's actually barfing. It's very cool, and it's reflective of his awesome in-game action. All right, and here we have Barkley, who's actually the sidekick uh, version of Tree Rex, a little, uh, uh, little mini minion guy who will follow you around, jumping around. Really fun to play with him and Tree Rex. It almost looks like uh, Big Brother and Little Brother playing a video game. It's a lot of fun. And here we have the Dark Edition Slobbertooth, who came in the Dark Edition Starter Pack. It was the only place to get him. And he's really cool. He's got that really shiny silver shell and horns and teeth, you know, showing just how slobbery and awesome Slobbertooth is. And here we have a treasure hunt version of Heavy Duty Sprocket, which I think just recently came out for Swap Force. Really unique color scheme, you know, really playing up 
her kind of mechanic instincts with the metallic uh, paint. And this is Star Strike. I believe that's Light Core Star Strike. And she's one of the new favorites from Swap Force, one of the new core Magic Skylanders. Really fun to play as, really unique play style reflecting the projectiles of the stars. And of course, just, you know, a personal favorite, the manliest of all Skylanders, the best named of all Skylanders, the prettiest. Uh, this is Zulu. Um, there's no relation, but you know, we're, we're both admirers of the name Lou. It's a great name and a great character, a lot of fun. You know, the, the bucking boar riding is just, it, it's a hilarious move that I think really, really, you know, gets a good laugh and is very effective against enemies. And this is Riptide, you know, go fish. And you can see he's one of those unique characters that actually uses fish as a weapon. So his main one there is a swordfish, but you can also switch to a hammerhead, which he does kind of as a hammer throw, or you can whale on him with a giant killer whale as a large area of effect attack. Really funny character, very comical, awesome, awesome, awesome personality, and a lot of fun to play as. And so here we have Polar Whirlwind, who's a really cool uh, alt deco, we call them, variety of Skylander, who appears that way in the game. Very bright, very unique, uh, really, really magical when you bring her into the game. And this is one of my favorites. This is Mini Genie, and she's the sidekick version of Nin Genie. And it's really fun just seeing how small, you know, a giant can actually be. <laughs> and it's really cool because she just has that personality of Nin Genie. But, you know, when playing alongside Nin Genie, you really see that size difference. It's a lot of fun. And so this is Punch Pop Fizz, who we had as a 3DS starter pack exclusive, uh, who was a alt deco variety, you know, who appeared awesome and red in the game uh, when you brought him in. Very, very fun, really cool character. And so here we have one of the very first treasure hunts. You can tell it's a green-based toy, so it was around for the original Skylander Spires Adventure. This is a, a variation of camo that came out, and you can see we, we kind of affectionately call them gummy just because he kind of looks a little bit like a candy. Uh, but he's a really fun character, and it was a really cool treatment and one of the very first treasure hunts we ever did. And here we have Eye Small, which is the sidekick version of Eyebrawl. And once again, I mean, it's just really fun that we were able to make these sidekicks. Um, this was for Giants, and really just doing the inverse of having a big, massive Skylander be so small, so diminutive, and just really fun and entertaining. Really, really cute character. And speaking of giants, this is actually my favorite giant. This is Scarlet Ninjini, which was an alternate version of Ninjini. But you can see she's got a really, really cool scarlet crimson red armor. And she looks absolutely beautiful in game. Very, very unique and really, really cool character and a blast to play as. And then this one, this one might not be familiar to fans because it's brand new. It's actually our Toy Fair exclusive version of our brand new Swap Force character, Dunebug. And I'm really excited because I'm actually going to be working with Family Gamer TV to do a giveaway of some of these Toy Fair exclusive Dunebugs. Yeah, thanks Lou, as we mentioned at the beginning, to win the first of our Dunebug um, figures from Toy Fair, you need to try and spot each and every Skylander figure that are in those boxes. Not just the one that Lou has mentioned here, but all the ones that we zoom past as well. Look at our footage, obviously you can pour over that, but also I should think other people on YouTube will also be covering this, so look at their footage as well. Get your comment in below. At the end of the month, we'll be checking through those comments. And the person who's got closest to our list, we got, we got the definitive list um, from Activision um, at Toy Fair, um, will be the winner of that first Doombug. As I said, there'll be more Skyland Doombugs giveaways coming up on the channel. So do subscribe and you'll get a notification of when those videos are up. And do stay tuned to see who wins um, our, our first Doombug giveaway from New York Toy Fair.